because we could go, you know, we could take her to the tavern and set her up with us and all drink together like we used to. Um, I'm going to vote no on, on that one. <laughs> I'm sorry. I still feel a little bit crazy from being dead, so you'll have to give me yeah. a second. From being dead. Yeah. 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 Okay. So we will wait. We're okay. going to wait for him to come back. I'm going to, like, sit outside and watch the raindrops. I have a little bit of crazy in me. I have to get it out. So Okay. Um, so you guys end up basically waiting all night till dawn for Lemnis to come back, or after dawn, the next day. Um, so, back to Lemniscuit. Um, as uh, dawn approaches, I ask, um, Gozre, I uh, I ask, what must I do to atone for the actions that I have taken to um, to return my friend to life? Um, after saying this, you feel the taste of blood in your mouth. Well, fuck. Uh... I'm not sure how to interpret that. I I guess um, <laughs> I I kind of like cock my head as I'm praying, like I'm like, what the fuck, what? Like I don't know. And I'm like, do you are you are you telling me I have to kill something? I don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> I in my brain, I just opened mm -hmm. up a Reddit thread. In, in the explain it to me like I'm five subreddit. <laughs> <laughs> um, a sudden rain shower starts pouring down on you. Very localized to where you're at. Like you can see like 50 feet away there's no rain. Mm. Uh, I I ask Gozre, what do I have to prove to you, what do I have to do to prove to you that I'm still yet your servant and only wish to uh, to abide by your will um, after that you start to hear birds and small creatures in the trees and the underbrush around you start to shriek at you. Uh-oh. I, um... I say, Gozre, I... I am deeply sorry that I have done an action uh, that I have committed uh... Or I have done some things that that go against um, your well-being and even somewhat against the nature of things. Um, that saddens me, and I am very sorry and deeply saddened. Not by the death of my friend, although that does upset me, and I am sad about that, and I I will mourn that. Um, I am sad that I have done something that has separated me from you, and all I wish, all I wish now, is um, to prove that um, all I actually want to do is is be closer, close to you again, and to uh, spread your will in this uh, in this existence and in others. After you finish saying all that, like the animals die down and the rain stops and the taste of blood goes away, but there's just silence. So I'm, um, what kind of 
and I, I'm asking you this outside of game. What kind mm. of um, penalties and stuff do I take for like fasting? For what? For like fasting, so like like not uh, not eating like a regular meal. Um, I'd have to look it up. It'd be like being fatigued and all that junk. So you take like minuses to anything strength based or agility based. Um, and be making fortitude saves on a regular basis to see if you can stay conscious. Okay. I, um... Uh, <clears throat> what day of the week is it? Um... <laughs> Thursday? It's Thursday. Wednesday. It's Thursday. I don't know. <laughs> uh, is it, like, uh, early in the week, late in the week? It's whatever Galarian's equivalent of Thursday is. Gotcha. Okay. Oath day. Oath day. Okay. Then, um... I say to, um... I say to Gozre, I... I will... I will fast... Uh... Until... Uh... My oath. On this oath day... <laughs> Um, mm. Is to once again be in your um, be in your goodwill, Gozre. That that's my oath to you. And until this this time next week, I will I will fast to prove that I am committed. Um, and if there is anything I can do to prove otherwise. Um, to prove to you otherwise um, that I am willing to do things uh, you know willing to do your will basically uh, then please uh, please give me a sign I will be listening and then I, okay. I start packing up the shrine and I put my holy symbol back on and I begin walking back down uh, to the town Alrighty, and I'm, um, so I'm still you... gonna like drink water and stuff. I'm just not like gonna eat and you know carry on and other things like that. So, All right. Um, so you make it back to I'm guessing the temple, um, where you find Lorian and Tiger Lily have been waiting for you through the night, and everyone's back together again. Yo, with a dead body. Yeah. Oh, fallen comrade. Yeah. <coughs> well, penis. <laughs> <laughs> Poots. Poots. Yes. On newts. <laughs> yes. Um. So they said, and I kind of look at him, and I, I think. I probably shouldn't say anything because he looks kind of distraught and things, but I still have a bit of crazy in me, so I feel like I should say something, but then <laughs> I think I shouldn't, but then I think I should. So I just go and say it. Um, they have a, a grave that was supposed to be mine, but they're giving it to her. And so I kind of just look at him, and then I'm like, oh, maybe I shouldn't have said that. Sorry. Um, I just kind of shrug, and I'm like... <clears throat> Let them do what they must with the body. But don't you think you want to say something in name of Gozre? I don't think she had a god, so maybe you could give her yours? I I tell her my god is basically wanted nothing to do with this quest to bring you back. And uh. I risked I have put my um, divine place in the world in danger to bring you back and basically for not because we lost another friend so I have mixed feelings so you should probably leave me alone shit man sorry and I kind of like walk off and I realize come back to my senses I'm like oh god the crazy I, I gotta get this crazy. I gotta get this out of my system. <laughs> All of the buttons. <laughs> <laughs> but okay. 
So I kind of just like kind of stare off and long guard stare or whatever. All right. Well, they are they are prepared <laughs> to commit the body to the ground whenever you guys are. Okay. Well, let's go. Potato says go, so we go. <laughs> yeah, I know. I don't know why. Too. It's all right. <laughs> I follow like the whole. I guess. Oh, okay. Oh, wait. Are we being pallbearers, or like, how are we doing this? However you want to. How do you want to do this, Emily? Um. Well, they, yeah. I mean, I, they. Why well, ask them? Do you guys have? you know, means to take her there? Um, they say they can convey her with a cart. Um, you can carry the coffin if you want. We can get some acolytes to carry the coffin for you if you prefer it to be carried instead of drawn in a cart. Uh, whatever you guys want to do. Hey! What? Oh. It's our back joke. To oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hey. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> I look um, at and say whatever you think is best. Well, I say let's let's use a cart. I don't really have I don't really have the energy. Um, <laughs> she was kind of heavy. <laughs> well, I, I mean, I, I'm just you know physically and emotionally drained too, and so. Plus, it's more than like the nastiest hangover ever. Yeah. Oh yeah, no, I can handle. I can handle it. Ooh. Well, I only have like three. Oh, yeah, um, that's fine even for a human. Yeah, yeah. Um, so we walk. Uh, I I guess you know they we watch them. Um, they put her in a coffin. She's in a coffin. In a car. Yeah, they provided uh, a very nice coffin for you guys coffin at no cart. expense. Um, as kind of part of their them paying their respects and recognizing what you've done as far as risking your lives for the safety of the town. I say um, thank you for this nice coffin. That was nice of you guys to provide that. <laughs> it was very nice. And I then um, <laughs> I say yes. Shall we proceed? And I guess we start walking. And I, as we're walking, I'll kind of do a little ceremonial um, drumming. Dirge. Yes. Land that Limerick. dirge. Yeah. Da 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 <laughs> da 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 da. <laughs> you have like one extra little drum that's tuned way down for the da. This is a sad moment. <laughs> it really is. <laughs> yes, actually, it, it it is. And okay, and I just follow around, I guess, behind them, and just kind of stare at the ground and stuff. I, like I said, I'm still trying to get my life back together, you know. Again, I'm trying to figure <laughs> out like what all happened, why there's no ghosts. What, is he dead yet? Is he still coming after me? Am, am mm. I actually talking to myself now? You know, that kind of stuff, you know, those things. So. Are you talking out loud? I, you yeah. Yes. <laughs> actually, I, I was. <laughs> well, <laughs> but continue playing. <clears throat> oh, man. Well, I kind of lean over now, like, I'll explain everything <laughs> in due time. Well, I'll get you caught up. Okay, sounds, <laughs> sounds, sounds good. Um, so you guys make it out to um, the Restlands where you began this great adventure and they have prepared a plot um, kind of in a place of honor in the section of the cemetery where Professor Lorimore was buried um, so this area is you know, reserved for important people and heroes and things like that so you actually have a, a spot for Nomo right next to Petros Lorimore's now not so fresh grave Oh, man. Your dad, shut up. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I'm just providing commentation from Ashley Hollingsworth. Commentation. <laughs> commentation. I got commentation. Commentation of the women. The commentation of the women. Sorry. 
Yay, Conan. I know. Well, anyway. she's a barbarian, so I'm sorry. I know. That's okay. why I did it. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Thanks for judging. Uh, um... <clears throat> Damn. I basically <coughs> shit. <laughs> Let's get shits. In honor of it, <laughs> of no, <laughs> and then buries it with her. I mean, I, I kind of make a side note in my head that um, to ask Lemniscuit why he put on his purple robes for this occasion. I I quickly tell her the reason why I donned the purple robes uh, was uh, in in mourning of of my friend mm. and um, purple robes of mourning. I basically really uh, my uh, in my brain I don't want anything to do with any of this like. In like, in Limniscuit's belief, like, like, living for now and honoring those who fall, like, is best done by by living, and and not by, um, going on and on with with processions and all kinds of things like that. So, uh, matter of fact, I think he. I I feel like he thinks like this is like cemeteries are fucking weird because like bodies should be like put in nature where they can become part of the circle of life again you know like and so like this is abnormal to him and um he's just really quiet I'm just really quiet I just I really don't want anything to do with this I'm just here because because uh because he he thought a lot of normal, so that's it. Anybody else? Um, I just kind of like stare at the grave and kind of like I realize that I used to worship Desna because I was forced to, and I realize <laughs> that maybe she wasn't such a bad god. So I figured this is something I should do in honor of normal. Um, kind of say a prayer to her. Through the words of Desna, so butterfly this, butterfly that, lepidoptera this, lepidoptera that, morpho blue, yay, because that's her thing. So, anyways, um, but yeah, just kind of saying, you know, um, it's mostly in my head. Actually, I'm not actually talking aloud this time. Um, <laughs> but you know, thanks for being such a good friend. I wish I would have known you longer. You know, these kind of things. Um, you know, I have no idea what you went through to bring me back and stuff, but thanks for being an, a true friend. It's, it's been a long time since I've seen one of those. So, and then I just kind of like get a sob face and a tear falls down, you know. There you go. I'm done. <laughs> Does Lorian have anything? Is she lowered in there already, or is she up above? No, they're still. It's still like up on the, the ropes or whatever. Has not been lowered. Okay. Well, I I take um, I take her sword. Did you have her sword, or is she? <laughs> <laughs> have we looted her body? <laughs> or are we gonna wave? Well, I was going to, but I thought badly. Okay, go ahead. Oh, I'm, I'm good. I was just asking if she, if she wasn't holding on to it tonight, either put it on top of the casket or um, put it with her. Um, we'll say, we, we can say that you had brought it with you. Okay. Well, then I uh, place it on top of the casket and uh, I say that I'm going to. Uh, but, uh, that I ever knew. And I have no clue what you're saying, Emily. <laughs> How's the weather in 1993? Oh my god. You're breaking up so bad. 
Uh, <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Keep uh, going. Keep going. You're doing good, Emily. Keep going. It's okay. <laughs> oh, and then I lose track of my words, and I just <laughs> <laughs> step away. <laughs> <laughs> Ashley, you've got the most serious face in the world. Lorianne is is so is so upset. She uh, she she begins to talk and then and then can no longer go on. And <laughs> the she, words get caught in her throat, and she just can't. Yeah. As a matter of fact, there's a little bit of it that she she almost starts talking like a robot. She stops and starts so many times. Um, it's just the anxiety go, of the situation. Way to go, Emily. That was some really spot on like role playing. Like that was. Really good. That was like I Helen Mirren level acting. Yeah. I planned it that way, you know. <laughs> um, go ahead and I'll drop you off the call and then see if we can't get you back real quick. <laughs> um, yeah. Man, I need to kill uh, Emily one of these days because she's already got this awesome, sad black and white picture. <laughs> and you can play that Sarah McLaughlin song or whatever. All right, Emily. Hopefully that's better. Okay. Well, if I need to oh my restart God, my router, so just better. let me know. <laughs> it's better. Okay. Um. <clears throat> yeah. Proceed. I'm not saying anything at the at the funeral. All right. Um. The high priest says some words. Um. And you know, thanks her and all of you for your contributions to, you know, ridding Harrowstone of the evil that was threatening the town, and that her sacrifice will always be remembered, and she will always be memorialized in Raven Grove for the good work that she has done. And then she says, if there, or the the priest says, if there's any, if there's nothing further from you all, any emotions to you guys, uh, we will. Lower the body and commit it to the earth. I quickly rummage through normal things and take anything of note. <laughs> saying the casket this is, is closed. Oh, I open it back up. <laughs> I rummage through her shit. I take it, saying this is what she wants. She would want. She would want us to to use the items. And I. Um, well, we can say that you had done that. Ahead of time, since she already had the sword. Okay, cool. I mean, yeah, it'd be kind of rude at the wedding. At the wedding? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, sorry. <laughs> what? The wedding? <laughs> Hold on. We have a wedding Hold or a on. funeral? Either way, we're gonna have a lot of fun. <laughs> the wedding of her corpse with the casket <laughs> the and the ground. Thank you for for finishing that for me. You're welcome. I told you, I still have a little bit of crazy. <laughs> got your back. <laughs> Oh Jesus! Okay. Thanks, <laughs> Ray. It's broken. <laughs> he walks as suddenly Westboro Baptist Church shows up and protests the funeral. <laughs> <laughs> Ow! Oh, man. Um, I'm sorry. Marriage is between one woman and one casket. <laughs> <laughs> it's, only, it's only legal in like two states, but it was <laughs> Adam and Eve, not Adam and Teep. Oh. <laughs> all right. Classy wood joke for all my classy wood connoisseurs out there. So, yeah. yeah. So I just kind of pat the coffin and walk away as they're lowering her down, I guess. Yeah. I throw a flower on there. It was just a dandelion I picked up. Probably a type of Asteraceae. It may have been a Lamium and Plexicali. Could have just... been. Yeah, it could have been. There or it could have crazy been again. for Epidendron Tomatosin. <laughs> but I don't know why Mistletoe would be needing to... Okay, I'm crazy. Continue. Yes. Alright, so they... Um, after all this is said, they lower the casket and begin to fill in the grave. Dun, I walk. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> At first I thought you were going to sing the wedding one march. <laughs> 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 I'm so glad we're still on the same page. <clears throat> Star Wars coronation music plays. 
Um, I just walked back to the house. <laughs> Me too. Me too, as well. Me too. All right. <laughs> she was alive! <laughs> <laughs> just kidding, guys. I was in the closet oh, the whole hello? time. Hello? Hello? You guys are notoriously bad at heel checks. <laughs> 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 Alright, so you guys get back to the Lower Moore estate where Kendra offers her condolences but leaves you to grieve. Having recently lost her father, she knows the value of some alone time after a friend's death. Okay. Um, Catching dragons. I... drink some water um, and I I go to my room yeah, what time of day is it um, now it's evening like 6 p.m. I just go to my room I'm just gonna try to sleep everybody else I'm gonna sleep too or maybe or er, yes I'm gonna sleep I yes. I go in my room and I read a little bit and then I fall asleep. Tiger Lily 2.0 is very conflicted about what the fuck she wants to do. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, nope. Yes. I go to the bathroom. No, I no. Nope. And then I no, shit I myself. I poop fuck. my pants. <laughs> I poop my pants. Damn. <laughs> this is a good question. Where is Mobius? All the cool kids poop their pants. Uh, Where's Mobius? Where is Mobius? <laughs> you just Not, let him go. You guys are. Yeah, you let him fly out the window, and then he was gone <laughs> forever. Was he still in that confused state when he came back? I thought he came uh, out of that. You didn't really take the time to try and figure out. Oh. <laughs> it also didn't give us much of an opportunity. He just, like, nope the fuck out. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so we've lost two friends. Okay. Wait, whoa. We don't know that yet. Okay. Just, you know. He may come back. Whoa, whoa, whoa now. <laughs> Caca! No, no, they have to run away sometime. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's a, he's a wild beast. He needs to go, you know, chill. <laughs> Does, um... Yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna worry about Mobius. I just go to sleep. Yeah. Okay. Everybody else? <clears throat> yeah, Reading night, night, or morning, or night, night, night. Nap. Yeah. Um, you guys sleep the night fairly well, except for Limnisket, who dreams about spiders eating his skin all night. Ooh. <laughs> Why? <laughs> oh, wait, I don't know this. I'm sorry. <laughs> and you wake the next day to the smell of uh, Kendra having prepared breakfast. <clears throat> what was that smell? Hi. <laughs> you hear a muffled voice from the cemetery. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, I wake up and I say I'll be back in a couple of hours. <clears throat> and I uh, go back to the same the same exact place I was before. Mm -hmm. I set up a shrine. Um, I begin praying. Um, and uh, I'm going to pray until lunchtime. Okay. Um, <clears throat> at breakfast, Kendra talks to Lorian and Tiger Lily. And so she, you know, she's greatly appreciated all the help that you guys have done. Helping her, obviously helping the town. Um, and she says, basically, the time has come for you guys to go ahead and move on to Lepidstat. Um, to fulfill the final wishes in her father's will. Um, and she knows it's a really hard time for you guys to have to kind of deal with this sort of thing. But, you know, she says maybe getting out and traveling and having the physical motion, the physical labor of doing the travel might help you, hmm. you know, not think about it quite so much or help you deal with the thoughts and, 
you know, you can <clears throat> kind of move on from this place and hopefully it'll help you move on from, you know, the sadness. Um, I say, how far away is, how far, how long do we have till that happens? Um, well, you guys have been here about a month now. So you were just contracted to stay here a month to look after her and make sure she was settled in and stuff after Petros Lormore died. Um, <clears throat> so, I mean, you can technically, I guess, go whenever you want to um, because you've already waited out the a lot of time you were supposed to stay in Raven Grove. Yeah, because we got to get the money from that guy, right, for doing all this, mm -hmm. the platinum coins or whatever. Yeah. I say... We'll talk to uh, Lemniscuit about it whenever he gets back. Yeah. Okay. See what he thinks. I mean, I I I feel like we should honor what we had said. Um, maybe give it a couple days so that we can, or I don't know. We'll we'll talk to Lemniscuit when he gets back. Um, shortly after breakfast, and you guys kind of have your talk with Kendra. <clears throat> there is um kind of a soft knocking on the door and she goes to answer the door and then she comes and says it's a collection of townspeople here to talk to you guys um okay well show them in yeah um uh, all, all of them there's a lot of them all okay. of them <laughs> well geez Sorry, your mansion isn't big enough for all these people. Let's just go outside. <laughs> so fucking snarky. <laughs> I have crazy. Is my name Cheryl or Charlene? Um. Don't call me Shirley. <laughs> um, so you guys go out and see. There's a gathering of maybe like a hundred people outside. Oh shit. <clears throat> and sort of the the ringleader of the group is somebody that you guys recognize from the uh, <clears throat> the kind of group of armed thugs that attacked you when you guys were taking Professor Lormore's body to its grave. Uh -oh. And he's kind of like got his hat off and is like wringing it and stuff and he's just like, yeah, we all wanted to come and sort of express our appreciation and our apologies for the way that we treated you and yours while you were here. Uh, and, you know, me especially and he kind of motions to some other people that you recognize from the mob from a month ago. And he says they feel, you know, really sorry that you guys, you know, lost one of your members, and they took up a collection to give you guys, um, as a token of good faith and to kind of help you along. And so he hands over this sack of gold to one of you, and says it's not much, but we kind of took up a collection for the town, and this is what we could give you, and we hope this sort of helps you along your way and kind of makes amends for how we were acting before. Thank you. It's well, okay. We all make mistakes. And I, I take it. I shout from the forest. It's about fucking time. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, Emily. Sorry. Oh, I just I thank him and I say, uh, you know, I uh, I have a dog that likes lollipops. <laughs> Is that what you say in game? I have a dog that likes lollipops. <laughs> We're all a little crazy. <laughs> no, and then I, I say thank you, and um, you know it was hard, and this is a hard time. But your, you know, gift is is gracious. Thanks. Yeah. Well, they sort of all nod their heads and sort of shuffle off. <clears throat> and um, as they are dispersing, Lemniscuit, you sort of see all these people leaving as you're coming back from your time in the wilderness and arrive there just shortly after they leave. Uh, <clears throat> I just kind of ask, like, what, what was that all about? The townspeople came up and... Um... They gave us, they had a collection and they wanted to say thank you for, you know, helping their town and they're sorry for our loss and they gave us um, some money. This big old bag money? of fucking gold! Look at it! Yeah. And I, don't have any, I don't have any money in here, sorry. I just kind of yeah. like 
shake my head and I'm like, well, it's about fucking time. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> <laughs> my dog likes lollipop. <laughs> 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 yeah. Oh man, that was funny. <laughs> so I, um, <clears throat> I guess then I just, um, I just kind of look at the two of them and I go, "What now?" Well, we're supposed to go Lepidstat. Remember, we spent a month with you know, uh, Kendra. I was going to call her the bitch, but it's Kendra. Or is it? No. Anyway, so we were supposed to spend, you know, make sure she was okay. I think she's okay now. I think we're the ones that aren't okay. <laughs> I might be okay, but I don't think you're okay. <laughs> but then I think we're supposed to go to Lepidstat and get money from someone else from doing this quest in the first place. Yes. That's what I have written down in my notes, at least. Anyway, she told us we should probably go there anyways, because Kendra thinks that it'd be good for us. Meaning you. <laughs> um, so I, I just kind of nod, and I'm like, all right. Um, uh, refresh my memory, dear DM. Um, specifically where we were supposed to go in Lepidstat? <clears throat> you guys were supposed to take four books to give to the colleagues of the late professor. Gotcha. The, at the, uh, the university there or whatever? Um, yeah, three of the books go to the university, and one of them, this like big purple ancient one, goes to a judge. Um, who I'm trying to... He was like the uh, member of the Order of the Owl or something. Yeah, the Palatine oh. Eye. Palatine Eye. Yeah. Order of the <coughs> Owl. Where the fuck did I get that? Order of the Owl. <laughs> yeah. The owl, yeah, yeah. So it's like the... Ooh. What is Ooh. it? The Coleoptera that has like the eye above it and stuff. Gotcha. Big beetle. Scarab. <laughs> okay. Domestic beetle. Um, the, okay, so three of the books go to a Dr. Montagni Crowell, antiquities professor at the University of Lepistat. Someone write that down. And... <laughs> Montagni Crowell. Is that what you sure. said? Okay. And the uh, the book about the Order of the Palatine Eye goes to Judge Imbreth Deramid, who's a local magistrate and old friend of the professor. And after both of those packages are delivered, the judge will give you guys your uh, bequeathed reward. Okay. Um... I basically say there's nothing for us here, so let's um, let's. I I, I say, um, we leave either today or tomorrow. Sounds good. How how much how much gold did those kiddos give us? Two hundred and thirty. Two hundred and thirty. Okay. So I'd say we probably buy a couple of potions, or maybe something to drink, or maybe some type of like. You know, like really cool sword that's like awesome and badass and stuff, and use all of it to buy that. But none of us can use it because only a barbarian can use it. So, anyways, <laughs> oh, I, I just made myself stay. sad. Well, and we <laughs> we can sell uh, <clears throat> we can sell the stuff that um, no mole no longer needs. Hmm. That's okay. gonna suck being just like three of us. Like the three of us are like shit at killing. Stuff. <laughs> that's true. I just kind of say that's not something I I care about at the moment. So okay. I just I'm like let let's just finish this quest and whatever happens happens. Okay, sounds good. But I mean I I have no problem with like selling items and getting prepared like you know like for the journey and stuff like I'm not saying like we should just abandon all and leave now. I'm okay with like selling normal things. Um, uh, unless somebody, unless people want to keep a, a token or something, I'm, I'm okay with just selling it all. So. I would probably keep a token because I'm crazy like that. But <laughs> I'm a hoarder, so as well. <clears throat> so, Jason. Yes. 
what do we do to do these things? Well, I suggest we take a brief pee break while you guys quickly add up all the stuff you want to sell and figure out what you want to buy with it, and we can just have all that done and, and get right to it when we come back in, if that sounds good. Sounds great. Sounds great. To save our viewers the boredom of everyone, like, not being decisive about what they want to buy from the weapon shop or whatever. Cool. Mm -hmm. Are you just going to, like, send us, like, what, what, what's available and stuff? Um, yeah. Okay, cool. Alright, uh, well, ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna take a short break while Jason compiles a list of all the cool shit that he's gonna give us for, like, very low cost in exchange for practically nothing. It's going to be great. We're gonna be super geared when we leave this town. Uh, hmm. <laughs> when we come back, more Dunces and Dragons. Thank everybody for watching. We really appreciate it. Don't go anywhere. We'll be back in a few minutes. Bye!